Hello everybody, this is Ben Shady 5 Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. Do you see a problem back here? Do you see a problem on my board? Yeah, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of running out of power. I know I mentioned last time that we were probably going to do power. Um, yeah, that's probably what we're going to look at today. <laughs> so, we are going to be heading to Reactor Island. And uh, starting to set up the infrastructure we need to get this reactor off the ground. Um, and we're going to be doing a mechanism reactor. We're going to start out with just an air-cooled one, passive production. We're going to get a lot of power of it, out of it. And eventually we will probably switch it over to water-cooled to make steam if we ever have the need for it. The reason I'm using so much power, for one thing, I have upgraded all of my crushers here to crushing factories so they pull I think like a thousand RF per tick um, anytime they're running so we're making a lot of cobble out of that um, I also put a speed upgrade on our quarry over there a speed 3 so a fully upgraded one um, the only thing that's limiting it now is the power output so I just went and uh, changed up the cell here and we're putting out 3500 RF per tick when it's running and I can't uh, I can't account for that nope stop being so noisy up there um, I've been setting things up here I've got on the network here I've got charcoal so that I can always have access to charcoal and I also have my spruce wood here uh, set up for that so we've always got wood accounted for I also changed this up. Um, actually, I don't think I was. Sh I showed that before. I started setting this up, and then things weren't working. So instead, everything dumps to one of two chests, and then gets processed in the infusers, so that I can get all the mechanism stuff running. Unfortunately, our uh, alloy smelter here, with for alloys, is completely full. So we're probably gonna have to put another. Um, interface right here to go into that one and our pulverizer is also full so we got to figure out a way to put an additional one maybe I put a um, an interface here so we can put more into it so that's the scoop of things that's how things have been going here Oh, look, I'm going to start processing a bunch of stuff again. Goody, goody. Um, it tears through materials so fast now. Uh, the uh, the quarry does. It's really nice. Yeah, see, I'm struggling for power here. I'm going to start having issues. Uh, simply because now that processing is running, I actually can't keep up. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. A lot of this is building stuff, and then we've got some thermal evaporator stuff. We're going to take this over uh, to Reactor Island and uh, start getting an idea of what we need to do to make this reactor work. So let's head over to Reactor Island. And it's raining. Lovely. Um, so I've been over here a little bit. I uh, was starting to plan out how I want to do things here. And basically we're going to start everything out in this section right here we're gonna have our evaporator towers um, I'm gonna probably do this with concrete as a base and then I want to build like a wall around it make it so that it's a kind of an enclosed area um, make it look kinda of like a well like a reactor area if you wanna call it that <clears throat> so I think what we're going to have to do first. If I remember how this works. I think I want to set the first tower up. Right about here. And I think I want to make a line of them going that way. So I think it needs to be... Uh, four across like so. And you guys probably remember me setting this up in previous seasons. Uh, we have used them in the past. We've used them for ore processing mostly, um, but we will be using them for processing as well. 
Um, I am going to switch over to mechanism processing. So let's see, we got one, two. These are going to be full height. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15, 16, 17, and then that should be 18 right there, if I got that right. It's going to be a lot of blocks. So, one, two, right, let's see here, we're at Y level 64, so it would be 17 to get to 81 plus the one in the ground. So that's 18, perfect. And now I'm starting to think that I don't have anywhere near enough blocks to make this work. I thought I crafted up a bunch of these, but uh, in order to do... Well, I need three full-size towers. And one smaller tower. Or possibly, depending on how we want to do this, maybe like a mid-size. Or just keep it... Yeah, we'll probably do like a mid-size tower. Hey, there goes the rain. Perfect. Ah, uh, perfect. Boy, do we have enough blocks to do one tower? Kind of worries me now. Um, this stuff, too, is a really expensive. Each one of these blocks... Well, I shouldn't say each one. Um, I think I make eight at a time, but it takes a half a steel then to make one block. So there's a lot of steel involved in making these towers. Always has been. Um, so I'm actually not doing it with uh, immersive engineering anymore. I'm processing it through mechanism. Basically, you take it, iron ingot, infuse it with uh, charcoal, and then run that byproduct through the infuser again. That'll get you uh, your steel dust, and then you just smelt it. And uh, I can I can process steel pretty quickly now. Okay. Um, let's see here. We're gonna want. I need that on the bar. Yeah, we don't have much left. So I want one controller and three valves somewhere. Um, so what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to run like the pipes off the back side here. So we're going to run actually I think I only needed to one break out one of those. I'm going to bring water in there. Um, we're going to need, uh, let's just stack them. We're going to need one for in, one for out, and one for thermal. And I suppose we might as well just put it right here, right? Incomplete. So do you need the solar panels? I thought you could do it without solar panels now, but apparently you cannot. Well, in that case, let me let me go make some of those quick because I think it's got to be the big solar panels. And uh, yeah, these guys advance solars, and it's going to take a lot of the small solars which is going to take I don't have processing for that or that or these yeah we're gonna have to uh, process those so I'm gonna jump back home let me craft those up and I'll meet you guys back over there make sure I got everything set up and I'm probably gonna make uh, the other three towers or the other two so that we can start making brine out of it 
So I was right. I had to go and make some more blocks. I was short by almost half a tower. And I was also right in the fact that you are supposed to have stuff in the corner. Now you can put the solar ones because that's the way it used to be or you just finish the multi-structure like that. And that's how we're going to do it. Um, I've got plenty of them to build another tower for the next step. Ooh. But now if you look we have formed height of 18 which is max height and we've got no production because we've got nothing coming in. Um, now oh, I didn't bring I forgot to make the uh, the items that are needed to pump stuff in. Oops. So the idea was is I was going to run three of these guys. Let's see. Dig those up quick because I want to put, well, we'll just put some regular. There we go. I will just dig these out. Oh, wasn't uh, updating properly, apparently. And from there, we'll just be trekking these guys. Oh, you are not going to connect, are you? Thermal evaporation valve. Well, so the question is, do you connect to mechanical pipe? Because I know this will connect here. No. All right, so then we need a solution, don't we? All right, we got to, oh, you can uh, change those. I did not know that. So the idea is we're probably going to run these in and uh, we'll put a tank. Maybe right here, and then we'll just send everything through. So, so let's go grab a tank. We also need the upgrades for our pipes. We're going to need world interaction upgrades. I feel like I should uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's three for each, perfect. And then we're gonna want speed upgrades. Come on. Oh, I hate it when it freezes up like that. So we need one per speed upgrade, so we want probably 12, uh-oh, am I really out of redstone? I can get some more here, but that's not a good thing. Um, I can probably... Oh, we do have some more in here. And my quarry's off. Good. I can probably make redstone one way or another. Um, so what were we at? I think we were at 7. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm probably... Oh, I do have enough gold nuggets. 
Oh, I can make more. Um, we'll start with that. And then let me grab stack upgrade. Oh no! Well, let's do this. Let's do one more of these. And then we've got enough. Oh, we've only got two. Oh, there's three right here. Third one's right here. Perfect. So that's everything to get the pipes flowing. So then we just need a tank of some sort. I don't think I have any tanks in here. Let me just check. I've got hardened portables. Um, now you know what, they're easy enough to make. So that holds 32 buckets. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, glass. Forget how much glass I go through here. Oh, that's only one. There we go. Glowstone. I didn't know I had glowstone armor. Okay, so we've got hardened portable tanks, stuff like that. So let's head back. This should be enough to get us going here. Uh, reactor Island. Go speedy, speedy, speedy. I want to get these guys going. Oh, and then there's going to be a blood moon. Great. So we're not going to be able to stay out here at all. Okay, good. That connects. And... I have to see if that connects. So if I put three in there, yep, I'm getting water. So let's finish the upgrades here. So we need one of those guys and five of those guys. Because so I'm not sure how much we're going to need. Um, these guys are pretty water hungry lots of times so this will at least guarantee that we've got plenty of water so then we're just going to run these guys along here and these pipes have the ability to flow a lot of water hi buddy oh god they are coming yeah this is not going to work because I've got guys spawning right on top of me Look at that. Oh, and then I got hit. All right. Time to go back home. Look how crazy that is. And wait out the night because, well, I cannot sleep the night away because of the blood moon. So I'll be back. All right, so it is a lot less dangerous. Um, the blood moon is gone. I built the fourth tower. I went and built it full height just because it's easier that way. We may need to use it in the future. But well, what I need now Now that I think about it, I think I forgot something. I did forget something. Darn it. Uh, but we're going to put down these guys. And these fuel wood heaters basically, what is it, oh, they're okay, Celsius, I don't know what R is, Fahrenheit, I don't know what that is, we're going to go with, with that unit. So basically now instead of using the solar, we're going to use these fuel wood heaters. They produce heat, the heat gets transferred down the pipes to all of the units um, I don't know if it's gonna actually start working so what I'm going to do 
I have this configurator here, and I gotta remember how to use it. So I think it's shift, pull. So it's working hard right now. Is it? Oh yeah, it's filling up with water. Trying to at least. And I don't think anything is warm enough to create any brine because that's what we're after. Oh man, you can fit a lot of water into these. So it's going to take a long time to fill these up. Oh wait, no, this one's making brine. Apparently that one's warm enough, and this is warm enough. So 1.99 millibuckets per tick. So why is this one different? Does it have something to do with the biome temp, I wonder? But regardless, uh, we need to go back home. I love being able to teleport around. It's so nice. Um, we need... We need conduit. I guess I don't have any more of that. Ah yes, because I need this stuff. So I need pulsating iron. That should be plenty. Need to make it so I can make uh, conduit on the fly here. Boop. Okay, so let's go back. I don't know if that is the right location, but I mean, we'll be able to work our way through it, I guess. Come on. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have three of those guys, and I don't know... This doesn't seem to have a... Uh, sides on it like a normal mechanism one would so we're gonna have all input and then we want to do is grab our ender chest here which is already hooked up to our charcoal and I'm gonna set that to active and then these guys are gonna start firing uh, let's round robin it Temperature's going up. Now what happens with these guys? Oh yeah, temperature's going up. Production rate's going up. The real question becomes, how far can we take this? Does it have enough heat to get all of these nice and hot? As of right now, the heat does not seem to be getting down here. So this guy's seeing the heat production, but this guy is not. Oh, now it's starting to climb. So apparently it needs to dissipate through here. Oh yeah, you can see the color is changing. So the temperature is holding steady, so it's going to be how far will this get and how much will this consume. Ooh, wow, temperature's getting way up there. still climbing I guess so we may need more of those so this is actually full so it's not able to produce anymore this is full of brine so that's gonna start going up temperature wise this one's going up and we're not seeing anything down here are we so I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put a couple of those guys here maybe with another ender chest um, water is still filling. We may need more upgrades for that. But I guess the biggest thing is, is now we're going to have to start moving the brine. Let's try to sit here. So that's going to start pulling brine out. Come on. And I'm pretty sure this is completely overkill. Oh, 
we'll see how this goes. So this is going to start filling up with brine like crazy. Oh, it is actually working. So we're getting li liquid lithium. That's what we need. Perfect. So then we're going to have to have some sort of power out here. Actually, I have those uh, solars. I might be able to run it off of solar. But regardless, we have our lithium, which is what's going to get our uh, tritium, is what it's called. So let me step you through it, at least what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here before I wrap things up for this episode. And we're going to have to continue this in the next ep episode. Um, so we're, we're after is this deuterium. I'm trying to see here if I can... It doesn't actually show me how to produce it. So instead what I'm going to do... Let's see, there's tritium here too. Well, let's see if we can follow it. So we've got brine. Oh, it doesn't let me follow that, huh? Um, condensator. Or a condensator. No, I want to. Oh, it won't let me. I want to be able to see what it is used or what it does, you know? And it won't let me. So, what we'll do is we'll put it this way. So, we're making brine, right? And we're going to take the brine, we send it over to another tower. The, this tower converts it over to liquid lithium and then we're going to take that liquid lithium put it through that um, rotary condensator turn it into lithium um, don't you dare come over here uh, lithium gas he must have uh, thorns on him or he's spiked then there we're going to send those through a bunch of solar neutron Let's see if I can get the right wording here Solar neutron activators, which are a bit pricey to make, but we're gonna need a bunch of them. Oh, we need H. We're gonna need HDPE. HDPE pellets are a PRC, which is liquid ethylene and oxygen. And liquid ethylene comes from ethylene because we're gonna move it that way. And then that. All right, sweet. Which is using the PRCE. We're gonna put water, hydrogen. And makes a substrate and ethylene. What can this be used for? Oh, and then the substrate plus liquid ethylene. Okay, so it's like a. So we're going to have to set up a little bit of a, a loop there to make that. Um, we'll have to do that at home a bit. Um, but regardless, when we send that through that, what we're going to end up getting is. Um, It's not actually pulling. Or is it because it doesn't know where to go? No, it, okay, it's filling the pipe. That's what it is. You notice how this is empty? And it's still filling with brine. So it is struggling to make brine, or to convert it. So that's going to get us the deuterium. No, tritium. That gets us the tritium. To get the deuterium, we're going to get that from heavy water. And that's actually a lot quicker to do. Um, and then from there we have our two fuels. We have the deuterium and we have the tritium and those two are used in uh, the reactor. Oh wow, this guy is just cooking. In fact, he can't make enough water or he can't get enough water to produce enough. Is the brine full yet? No, still trying to fill that guy up okay fair enough fair enough because these are all empty so what I'm gonna need is I'm going to need 
probably some stack upgrades or some speed upgrades into these guys. And uh, see if we can increase that water production. Um, but pretty much we're on our way to making one half of it. Next episode we can definitely make the other half of the fuel, get the fuel set up all ready to go. We're going to have to adjust these based on pretty much how much power we want to make, but it's going to be a ridiculous amount of power, so it's not that going to be that big of a deal. And then, uh, so we'll probably finish the fuel setup next episode, get all that running, and then uh, the following episode we can finally get ourselves a reactor up and running. Got him. I just kill things to kill things now. So I think that will be a great plan. So with that guys, I hope you don't mind me setting this all up, going through it a little bit more in depth because this is a very cool process. It's going to be complicated, but it's going to be able to allow us to do some very, very cool things. And uh, I'm excited for where that takes us. So with that guys, thank you all for watching. And as always, take it easy.